Hi there, Kit here, and welcome back to Corpse Party. And listen to this pumping music. Calm down since last time. <laughs> so we're gonna keep going on. We're gonna we're here with uh, our main man Satoshi. You got Naomi and Yuka with us. So let's put yeah, let's put that in there. Do I have the other one? I can't remember now. Yes, put that in there too. And open the thing and save after that because, yeah, reasons. Okay, I'm gonna start saving on the bottom one just to make sure. Ooh. What? Naomi? It's here. The black mass that attacked me earlier. The sign says infirmary, but whatever's at the end of this hall is nothing like anywhere we've been before. My... my head! Big brother, it hurts! Mine, too. Uh, both got nosebleeds. You two stay here. I'll go on alone. Why is everybody always split up? Yeah, I know they're in pain, but... Somebody gonna die. The hell? Is that a child's face and hands? Wait, I don't see it. There's a posting attached to the door. Sachiko, cleaning up in the reference room. Please wait f here for me until I'm done. Mom. Oh. Sachiko. The door is open. Come on in. That's a little nerve wracking. But blood. Oh my god. It's mine. Look at my nose start bleeding. Uh, I think this I think I'll be in danger if I stay here too long. But I get the feeling there's something I need to see here I need to see. Oh well. That's a lot of blood, dude. <laughs> What do you say? Shall we go on a field on the field trip together over summer vacation? No. Curse upon you. No mercy. Oh, it's going back and forth between ears. Okay. Okay, I'm just trying to do this super fast because I don't know how long I have. Oh. What's going on? I can't move a muscle. Have I been paralyzed? Uh oh. Oh. My dear Sachi. She's my pride and joy. Um, she'd do anything for me. You're the one at the beginning! <laughs> Is this Sachiko's mom? I can move again? Out of nowhere, the book on the deck begins flipping pages, then slams shut. Okay, cool. Diary. diary. Whose diary? Is it the spirits? The book seems quite old, with yellowed pages and frayed edges, but the carefully inked letters are still completely legible. What? 7953. I seem to be dead. No, that can't be right. I can't forgive you. I won't forgive you. I'm going to kill you. How dare you harm Sachiko? How dare you harm me? This is bad. Uh, yeah, you think? Uh, cool. Satoshi! Yeah. I'm here. Stand up! We gotta get out of this hall now! Big Brother! Um. Okay. Are you two alright? Uh huh, I'm fine. I'm okay too. The headache subsided. 
It must have been that hallway. What was that place anyway? It was the nurse's office. There was a woman there with a broken neck. And just before I ran out, children started appearing all around her. What? Is that... Yeah. It's a diary from the desk. I tried going through that earlier, but it was totally frozen in place. I couldn't even turn the pages. Is it... that woman's? Without a doubt, I saw her writing in it. What? There's a name on the back. Yoshie... Shinozaki. I'm not sure what we'll learn from it, but I'm willing to bet it's something important. Shall we take a look? I spoke at great length with children again today. They're so full of life and growing up so fast. The younger students are quiet and respectful too. It's clear that their parents love and care for them very much and have taught them very well. But I won't be left behind. I intend to raise Sachiko with just as much love and devotion as any of them. Today is her seventh birthday. We're meeting after school and going out for dinner. I hope she likes the stuffed cat I got her. Had to sort out some documents in the reference room before meeting up with Sachi. While I was working, the principal dropped by. After he and I talked for a bit, he suddenly came up to me from behind. He grabbed me and forced me down and began unbuttoning my blouse. Oh! He'd always been so kind, lending a sympathetic ear to my problems, but today, he didn't even seem like the same man. His eyes were cold and empty. I was in such shock, I'm not even sure exactly what happened to me after that. I slipped away somehow, but he was right behind me. I only made it as far as the landing on the stairs. Just as I turned the corner, I felt him push me. The floor came at me fast, and suddenly, I found myself unable to move. I was slumped across the ground unceremoniously, and I was dead. Buckets of blood spilled out from my head. I'm sure it was hell to clean up later. I also lost control of my bowels. Embarrassing, to say the least. I was slipping away, but I was pulled back by the sound of a very clear, dear voice. Sachiko saw everything. I guess she'd come to find me. The principal closed in on her. What was he planning to do? I yelled with every ounce of my strength for him to stop, but I was dead. I had no strength. Sachiko tried to run, but she had the stride of a seven-year-old. He caught her easily, and then, before my very eyes, he strangled the life out of her. What a cruel man. Yeah, he's messed up! He rebuttoned my shirt, then took Sachiko to the basement and buried her. He'll probably say my death was an accident and report her as missing. I'm not a bad person. I don't deserve this. There's no redemption for what he's done. It's just as I suspected. According to the official report, I slipped and fell. And nothing's been said to anyone about Sachiko yet. The other teachers and students are all mourning me. They're so kind. I'm in mourning too. There's a stranger sitting in my chair. The new nurse, no doubt. But no one's come to see her. She mustn't be very popular. I hate her. Little by little, I'm losing my mind. Bit by bit, I'm fading away. A dark will, not my own, has begun infiltrating my being. Make it stop. So she was... Sachiko's mom? It's so awful. Yeah, it really is. Yeah, it is. I really feel for her. Wait, though, isn't anyone else bothered by the dates on these diary entries? Sachiko shouldn't even be there. The kidnappings and murders didn't take place until 1973, remember? Oh, you're right. These are all dated in a full 20 years earlier. But what does that mean? She's been killing for a long time. We kept reading. This post-mortem diary continued to chronicle school nurse Yoshie Shinozaki's laments and regrets and detailed her agony. Bound to the site of her demise, Yoshie eventually exhausted all possible topics, filling the remaining pages with short passages like, I'm so alone, so very alone. I want to see Sachiko again. I want to see the children again. I will never forgive him for what he did. I'll kill them all. Among other similarly mournful or angry sentiments. Well, yeah, she had a violent death. What the? I can't open it past this page. After a certain point, the diary's pages became so blood-soaked that they were all sticking together in a coagulated mess of gloppy paper. Skipping past the bloodied section yielded the very last few entries in the book. 
all of which were dated around 20 years later. Sachi is my pride and joy. She'd do anything for me. She'd even kill lots of people to keep me company. She sends me so many children. I love them all. So she's killing them to give her mother somebody to be with. I have to make her stop. This won't make me happy. Sachiko, please stop! His family is just as guilty as he is. I'm going to curse the entire line forever. I'll burn some sense right into their brains. How did this happen? Sachiko, who died alongside me 20 years ago, has a flesh and blood body once more. She kills children and sends their souls to me. But I don't want that. That won't make me happy. Sachiko, please, come see me. Talk with me. Sachiko killed six more. And when they die, it's like every trace of their existence is removed from history. It's spiriting away in the truest sense of the form. But she's not capable of abducting and killing children on her own. She makes that man do the kidnapping for her. Sachiko, please stop. Sachiko, please stop. Now she's just killing because she likes it. I don't know when this change happened, but it did. Living beings are such fickle, easily angered creatures. They killed us, after all. I can't forgive anyone who kills another human being. I'll kill them all. I'll kill them for what they've done. I'll show them no mercy. Kill more. Wow, this is like messed up. Kill more. Bring me more. Thanks to Sachi, I'm no longer alone. She sent me three more adorable little children today. Sachi is my pride and joy. I don't think she even recognizes me anymore. But I still love her with all my heart. The stuff at the beginning is part of this diary. Wow! School has been closed down and the principal jumped off the roof. Serves him right. I think I'll sing with the children. Something fun and happy. What a pitiful way to die. Serves him right. Sachi's been wandering the halls. These empty halls. She kills anyone who enters. People who've heard rumors or are just curious. She and I are both so desperately thirsty. But there's nothing we can do about it. After this, the writing becomes too jumbled to read. God. So, Sachiko's been killing children and sending their souls to her mother so she won't get lonely? And I guess, eventually, it just drove her mad. It seems like, deep down, even her mom wants her to stop. Yeah. I'm not sure exactly what we should do next, but if we're going to get through to Sachiko, then it looks like the school's principal is the key. If I recall, the principal's office is in the other building. Yeah, but I need the principal's... I need a key. Okay, so... Do I go over to... Oh! Stuffed all in the shape of a black cat lying in the middle of the floor. Pick it up? Yeah. Black cat plushie. Isn't that what her mom gave her? Okay. Do I do this now? Because last time... Yeah... Well, we'll figure it out. I need to go down. This is some good music, though. I love this freaking music. I know I say it every time, but it's really good. Okay, go. Thank you. Alright, now... Let's go over here and see what happens. Yeah, and we went through this last time. And then a clay question mark. So there's nothing really here, if I remember. Yeah. Ok. Let's go. Then we gotta go through this with, uh, Miss Yue. Miss Shishido. Yeah, it doesn't matter what I say. She actually stops anyway, so...
Just gonna go through it. I forgot there's a skip button. Okay. From the darkness within this narrator, the figure of a girl can be faintly seen. She's squatting with her hands around her knees. Yeah. Whoa, it's... Sachiko. Upon meeting your gaze, she spins in place, crawling deeper into the machine until she vanishes from sight. Maybe... Oh. The hell? It's pretty cramped in there. Okay. Tiny... Yeah. He goes in. I follow. But we're gonna leave this time. Because last time I didn't leave and... I lost. Turn back. Whoa, I missed. I skipped. Oops. Okay. Was I supposed to do that? I don't know, though. I really feel like there's something fishy going on down there, and I don't think there's anywhere else we can go. I don't like it, but if you're that set on going through it, I'll go too. So I don't have a choice in this one. I have to go through to it. But... Yeah, there's something in here for sure. Turn back. I know, I keep being told to turn back. But I... It's not... It's forcing me to go... Didn't I tell you to turn back? What? And then that disappears. But the thing is, how am I supposed to make it there? Huh. I wonder if I'm supposed to make them meet up and give them the, uh, the plushie. So if I'm supposed to meet up and give them the plushie, then there's absolutely yeah. There's no way of going back. Hmm. Yeah, there's nowhere else I can go. Wait, let me go back in here and go back up. Um Was I supposed to have them meet up and give them the black plushie? The cat plushie? Yeah, excuse me, dead body. I don't know why you're up here when you were in the other building. It's weird. But, like, was I supposed to have them meet up here or something? I don't feckin' know. There's no other way for me to do anything. Okay. I'll be back. I'm going to start it back from where I was, and then I'm going to see if I can give them a black plushie first. So, I'll be back. Oh, so, oh, oh, okay. The hell did you just see? The principal. He leaped, leapt, it should be leapt, he leapt from the room, the roof of the building. So I'm guessing that was the principal of Heavenly Host. Ah, uh, he's reliving his death over and over again. Oh god. Yuga, don't look. Is it just... Yeah, I doubt he can ever find rest after what he did, so he's just re reliving his death over and over again. That's horrible. Well, he... killed. Wait, what's that? Oh no, it wasn't... It, was it the same person? Looks like a key. Yeah, but a key to what? I'm gonna go get it. Don't! It's too dangerous! I'll be all right. Just wait for my chance. I'll wait for my chance, then rush in and take it. Oh, you're gonna make me do timing. That's not good. <laughs> Got it. What the? Man, it's a lot smaller than it looks from back here. There is it a desk to, to a desk or something. Principal's key. Now I should be able to get into the principal's office. Okay, you got it. Now get back here, Satoshi. Okay. That was pretty simple. Now, we get to go up to the principal's office. I'm going to save that. So, I'm not supposed to go back to them just yet. So, I'm going to save that right there. Just in case. 
but I guess I wasn't supposed to back, go back to Ayumi and um, Yoshi, Yoshiki. Uh, at least not yet. But I do need to go to the principal's office. Was it this one? I think. Yeah, it's this one, because it gets all darky do here. Alright, let's try this. The key recovered from Principal Yanagi Hori's body for, was for his office door after all. It turns easily and the door swings open. Okay. What is going on in this room? Good question. I didn't mean for it to happen. It was just a temporary lapse in judgment. She's the one at fault. She clearly overreacted to the situation. Oh yeah, she overreacted to you trying to rape her. I'm cold. Look, at all the papers on the walls in here. There's definitely something off about this place. Well, they did say the principal suffered some sort of mental collapse before he died. Yeah. She's the one at fault. No, no, really. So do I have to mean for it to happen? Hmm? The desk drawer is locked. We did find that key though. There we go. It's open. What is it? There's a small hemp bag in the desk drawer, absolutely slathered with blood. Is that Sachi Saki? Sachiko's tongue? Because all the other ones had tongues and bags and hemp bags. Big brother? I have a bad feeling about this. Yuga, don't look. A human tongue sits at the bottom of the bag, all dried up and stiffened with age. What? What is it? It's a tongue, sweetheart. Somebody burying somebody? Bam, bam, please. Um. Why am I listening to this? I can't. I can't get past it. Every night, every single night, the same dream. I deeply regret what I did. I can't even truly express how ashamed I am. But how much are you going to make me suffer for it? <laughs> oh, I understand. I get it. You're not really dead. You're just pretending. But think of it of the position you're putting me in. I can't allow you to tell another living soul about what I did to you. So I'm afraid I'm going to have to fix it so you can't ever say another word again. And that's why... That's why she killed the way she did. She cut out their tongues because of that. You like that? You like that? You like that? So he's, I'm assuming, stabbing her with the scissors and cutting out her tongue. If I ever see you in my dreams again, I'll be back. I'll kill you as many times as it takes. You feel a bit bad for Sachiko, but she's a vengeful spirit now. Like, there's just horrible situation. <laughs> Big brother! <laughs> Are you okay? You suddenly stopped talking and neither one of us can get any response out of you. <laughs> yeah, I'm okay. I was just watching some unpleasant memories unfold. Huh? Inside this bag is Sachiko's tongue. What? Oh, excuse me. After the principal lost his mind, he decided he couldn't say have Sachiko squealing on him to anyone. So he dug up her body and cut off her tongue. That's barbaric. Yeah. I think we should give this back to her. I'm sure she must be looking for it. 
Sachikori. Give it to Sachiko? So we have a black cat plushie, and we have her tongue. Is there anything else I'm going to need to do in here? No. Oh, switch. Sure. Glad I'm always checking those things. Let's, uh, let's take a peeky peek here. Well, it's a secret passage, and there's a ladder. Climb the ladder. Big brother. I don't like it. It's got those charms of protection all over it. Yeah. But that means the principal was deathly afraid of whatever's down here. We should check it out. What? I'll go first. Naomi and Yuka, you come down afterward. Big brother. Be careful, Satoshi. I will. Ah. So now... What do I do now? Hmm. Cause that's done. So... Do I go and take care of her? I don't know why you stopped there, Ayumi. I guess we're gonna try this again. See what happens. Oops. Yeah, I got all these things. So... Let's try it. Doesn't really matter. Because everything the same happens. So, yeah. Alright, let's go. Gotta go and do this all over again. Hopefully, yeah. Told you to wait at the top. Not a chance I'm coming with. Be careful. And then the um inappropriate noises. Noises. Yeah, it's a tight squeeze, sweetheart. Yeah. Okay. All right. It's all the same thing. I'm gonna keep going. Yep. Stay away. So, didn't I tell you to turn back? Okay. Now what? Alright, so we're gonna move on with these guys. Hopefully I did good on that one. If not, then I'll have to do it all over again. An underground tunnel system. Who would have thought there'd be something like this beneath the school? Big brother, I have to pee again. Oh my god. Yuka, can you hold it? Yeah, you're gonna have to, sweetheart. Unless you just wanna go in the corner like I've been telling you. What's this? Looks like someone scratched the wall here several times. Pretty deeply, too. The markings are pretty close together. Probably made by a child. They're probably left over from when that man kidnapped the four victims. Signs of how desperately they were trying to get away from him. Oh, man. That's too bad. Oh. What the hell? All these heads just lined up like prizes. God. These don't look particularly old either. I think they're victims of the curse who got trapped. Victims of the curse who got trapped here, just like us. What kind of sick person would take the time to line them up so neatly? Maybe someone obsessive compulsive? Someone who takes pride in his collection? Not someone I'd want to meet, that's for sure. Sachiko? Oh man. Oh. Ah. Oh man, this is gonna be hard. So go up, two, go this way, go up, one, go this way, go up, then go like this, then go back up. Is that what you wanted me to do? Here's Shiho. 
Stay strong no matter what happens, no matter what you may see. Never lose that immovable will of yours. Fight the darkening. Don't let it take you over. If you can beat it, then you can beat fate itself. Pretty ominous message doesn't go well for us. Okay. Hi? I thought you were dead. Or are you dead? Wait. People? Come again? Are you human? I, uh, um... You... Here, you drop this. Uh... After what he's seen, I don't blame him for being freaked. What just happened? I have no idea. He just looked at my face and then he... Come on, we should take our way, make our way through here as quickly as we can. Weird things seem to be the norm down in these tunnels. Huh. Do this. Okie dokie. Let's move on then. Ah. What's down here? Okay, where's that? Maybe it's just following the paths that I can get to? Some interesting music. Quite dramatic, I love it. Ah, here. Okay. So I can get this pulley and do the one that's up above me? Yeah. Hmm. This is really interesting. Like, seriously, this game is just all over the damn place with my psyche. Whew. Um. Okay. Ooh, life-saving candle! that I have to get after I do this one. <laughs> this game really likes to make sure that the characters get their exercise. Which is good for you. Exercise is good for you. Very healthy. Um. Okay. Now, moving on. Give me my life-saving candle. Okay, and we're gonna save over this one, because the other one I can do and whatnot. I can redo everything if I need to. Ah. There we go. Uh, let's start here, I guess. Oh, man. Did I choose wrong? Okay. There's nothing in here at the moment. I'm assuming I have to do something else and come back here. What? If, I'm wondering if this is where um, Sachiko was buried. Huh. We'll find out, huh? So, upsy daisy. Oh no, not again. Memorize. Right, right, up, left, left, up, right, right, up, left, left, down, left, down, down, left, up, up, up. Feck. Um. Right, right, up. Left, left, up. Right, right, up. Left, left. Left. Nope. Oh. Crap. <laughs> ah, so that's where you fall. Okay, cool. At least I didn't immediately die. This game can be very unforgiving. Okay, yeah. I watched you- Oh, I should've watched it again. <laughs> okay, not that way. We wanna go this way. Right, right, up. Left, left, up. Up. Right, right, up. Left, left, down. Down. Left. Nope. Oh. Hmm. I need to rewatch that again. Because I got 
the first half of it. <laughs> it's the second half I don't remember. Oh crap. Now that I've done it a couple times, I can I got the first part memorized, so show me. Okay. Right? Yeah, I got this part. Okay. Yeah, I got that part. Then you go there, and then you go down. Ah, down, left, down, down, left, up. Okay. Down, left, down, down, left, up. Cool beans. Got it. Okay. Let's go. So, right, right. Come up, left, left, up, right, right, up, left, left, down, left, down, down, left, up. And then like that. There. Woo! Um... Ooh. You. Yet another decaying corpse of Togarimita. Yeah. And just all these bodies, man. <laughs> What is this place? The smell is absolutely overpowering. Are you okay, Yuga? Not really. Oh, man. What the hell is this room? What was it used for? Death? The table sure does have a lot of bloodstains on it. Um. Oh. Oak. Let's um skeletal remains sprawled out across the floor of Nana Ogasawara. I am butchering names. Grotesque hunts of red and yellow meat have been crammed into the bucket so full the meat's juices are flowing over and tipping over the sides. Ew. Oh, I got a name tag for that. Oh man, do I have to check all these and get name tags for all of them? No. Okay. Just wanna. There's a large wardrobe here, big enough to fit a human being. It's currently empty. Whatever's in the sink smells rancid and looks both and looks to be both chunky, juicy, and chunky in equal measure. Ew. Table's covered in basic metal tools that seem to have been used on human remains. There's a rusty saw, a hammer, and several more custom items. Ew. Okay. Anything else I'm supposed to be doing here? Surface of the table has absorbed a disturbingly large amount of blood, dyeing it a sickening reddish brown. Okay, so do I just. Oh no. Crap. Someone's coming. What do I do? The footsteps are getting closer. Hide under the table quickly. Won't we be found right away? There's no place we can all hide. Come on. Okay, so. Huh. But there's a wardrobe big enough to fit a person. Oh. Taguchi, the camera guy. What's happening? I hear the footsteps. Steppy steps. Yoshikazu. Yoshikazu? Who is Yoshikazu? Naomi. Naomi. Hang in there. Who is Yoshikazu? Naomi. Naomi, shut the fuck up! Oh no. Is that Seiko? Oh. Don't tell me that's Seiko. Blood steadily leaks out from Seiko's. God damn it, I didn't read it. Oh, it's Seiko though. I can't press buttons, so... Oh. 
He found you. You hid in that wardrobe. Man. I think he's gone. Naomi, are you alright? Probably not. Oh, you're calling Naomi Onichan? Onichan. Wait, that didn't make sense. Where the hell is that bastard taking Seiko? Wait, Naomi. She's been through enough as it is. I can't just let this go on. Wait, please, don't run off by yourself, Naomi. Damn it. Yeah, damn it is right. Yuka, come on, stay right by my side. Okay. It's a safe bet she's following this trail of blood. Let's try to catch up with her. Okay. Uh, life saving candle first? Thank you. Let's go. Let's follow this trail of blood, which is, I guess, Seiko's blood. Why do you guys have to keep pushing Seiko in my face? It stops here. Huh? The trail of blood from Shinohara's body. Body. It stops here. But why? That's a good question. Let's go this way. What's the sensation? I get the feeling that we're not supposed to go this way. All right then. That's fine. If you want to tell me which way I should go, that's fine. Oh. Ayumi! What the... Where's Yoshi? Where... Why are there so many bodies? Hey, Kishinuma! Kishinuma, are you here? Uh-oh. No, please, no, Kishinuma! Oh, man. Why? Why do I have to be all alone in here? Oh, no. No, he couldn't be. Is he in here with me after all? Ah, there he is. Don't even think about killing me off just yet. <laughs> Is that like, um, breaking the fourth wall thing? Kishinuma! Before I realized it, I got stuck going down a different chute. Almost wound up in the pool. That would have been a real pain in the ass. You okay, Shinozaki? Oh, man. Do I have to... Yeah. Marina, Okada, Yuki, Saka, Sakabihara, Sakabihara, Izuru, Okami, oops, I already did that one. It's gonna take a little bit. Kaori, Hazegawa, Ryoto, Kumakawa, Hinata, Owen, Kyo, Senda, Sutaya Azuma Mayasuki Masayuki Hayashi Kotoma, Kotomi Nashimoto No name tag No name tag Um, did I do this one? I can't remember now Yeah Yeah Sayaka Oe Man, all these victims. Sheesh. Satoshi! Yosuke. Yoshiki, Shinozaki, Uchida, and Yuka too. Oh, good to see you guys. Uh huh. You two okay? You're out of breath. Naomi. Naomi went after this monster that took Shinohara's body, and she got separated from us. Nakashima is missing? Yeah. Miss Yui, too. God. Miss Yui's dead. Oh, you're not gonna tell him that. Okay. Naomi, please be okay. 
I have so many people in my party now. Hey, Naomi. Seiko. Seiko. Seiko, Seiko where are you? She's dead. I won't let them hurt you anymore. I'll protect you. Mm, she's dead, sweetie. She'll understand if you just, you know, saved yourself. Oh, flashing lights. Yuki. Ayumi. Oh, you said the next time we see you to, that you're bad. Yuki, you're here. Does that mean you still have control over your will? Ayumi, don't give in. Huh? You've been stricken with the darkening. Its effects are beginning to take hold of you. There's still time to stop it, but you must hurry. Oh no. She's here. Just beyond the next room. Whether or not you'll be able to return to your own world depends entirely on her. Go! Quickly! Wait, what about Naomi? We can't just leave without her. She's fighting her own demons right now. Yeah... If she can overcome them, if she's able to resist her own darkening, she'll be along. Ah, uh, so this is a test of will for her. It should be possible to appease even Sachiko. Make sure that you're ready. Ready to fight. I still don't know what the hell is going on in this godforsaken place, but I've come way too far to back out now. I'm still in this to the bitter end. We understand. Come on, everyone. Let's do this. Just remember, the way out lies with Sachiko. You must find a way to get through to her, to touch her heart. Got it. Gotta go poke her heart. Sounds... sounds good. Let's go poke her heart. I, I have to be getting close to the end. There's a rotting corpse hanging from the ceiling. It's Yoshikazu Yanagihori. The monster guy. Okay. So he hung himself. And this is his ghosty spirit goo going around. What's up, Ayumi? Big brother, my head hurts! Yuka! Why is it not affecting the guys and it's only affecting the girls? What's that? Good question. It sounds like slappy meat. Slappy, juicy meat. Who got shot? Ah, uh, is that Sachiko? I told you to stay away. Don't come any closer. Don't look at me. Sachiko, Sachiko, please listen, we... Leave. Please, believe me, we mean you no harm. Leave or I'll kill you. Isn't that what you're trying to do anyway? Damn it! We're not getting through to her. No, no, you're not. Can we use like the 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 plushie? We have a plushie in her tongue. My name is Shogo Taguchi. I work as Ko Kibiki's cameraman and general assistant. I've gotten separated from the boss, but I intend to do exactly as I promised him I would. I'll keep filming until the bitter end. No matter what happens, I won't miss a minute. These records will serve to validate my existence. No, what the? It's coming from upstairs. Oh. Snap. <sighs> That's the girl's bathroom. It's the little girl's room? Who's in there? I need to stay out of sight. I hope I'm able to get this, whatever it is. 
Seiko! Please, don't do this! What? Oh, no. Oh! How much you wanna bet this didn't happen, that Seiko actually was just overcome by the darkness? A darkening. Uh, my body! We've been paralyzed! I can't move! Oh god, is everyone alright? My ears! My ears! My brother, save me! Yuka! God, I can't even turn my body to look at her! Are we all frozen like this? Oh my god! What are you doing to me? <gasps> Yuka! Oh my god! Sorry, oh, Sachiko, you bitch, leave her alone! Mochida, get on with it quickly! Get on with. Ah! Hurry! Okay. What? Naomi, please don't do this! Two girls, one's on a bucket with her hands tied behind her back and a rope around her neck. No, no, please, Naomi, wake up! Naomi, no, god damn it. Why do you keep making me reliving Seiko's death? <laughs> Naomi. Oh, god. She just kicked the bucket away. My god, this is a murder! Oh, that's right, he was video recording that. Oh, what the hell did I just see? That's why he freaked out when he saw her. So she did- oh man. She was possessed by the darkening. And she killed Seiko. Sachiko, this is yours. It's a part of your body that was taken from you. Open your eyes, please. Offer Sachiko's tongue. Yes. Offer Naho's notebook. No. Mommy, you promised. You're too cute. Your mom's been suffering just as much as you have. The things you're doing aren't making her happy at all. Offer black cat plushie. Yes. Offer scent tape. No. The only thing she would be interested in is her tongue and the black cat plushie her mom got her. She wouldn't care about the other things. Who? Where's my mommy? Where am I? I can move again. Does that mean it's working? So we got evil Sachiko and good Sachiko. Or, yeah. Mina! Come on, everyone. Take out your paper doll scraps. Okay. Got it. Alright. Okay. Sajiko, hear our pleas. We want to go home. That's what charms really are. Re they represent the our regards for other people. They're like microcosms of the soul, right? You and your mom both suffer such horrible fates, but we all want to, all we want to do is free you from that suffering. Chant. Sachiko, we beg of you. Oh, I gotta count, so there's one, two, three, four, five five people, and then I gotta count one more for Sachiko. So that was one. That's two. That's three. Four, five, and then one more. Six. And then no more. Because there's five people, and then you do one more for Sachiko. Right? <laughs> oh, I hope I did that right. You guys, Yuka, 
Naomi, is everyone all right? It's okay. It's nothing serious. I'll use my ribbon to help stop the bleeding. Hopefully, that should be enough. Ayumi, thank you. We did it. Satoshi? Naomi, I'm so glad you're okay. What happened with Shinohara? I'll tell you later. Oh, uh, okay. Yuki! Now is your only chance to escape. The veil between your world and the school is at its thinnest. The gate is open. You need to hurry and get outside the building before it closes. Complete the ritual. Once it closes, this nexus will return to the way it was, and you'll have lost your chance to get out. What? So we're going to, what's going to happen to all of you, then? It appears we've become a part of these spaces. Sachiko was the only one among us who could be saved. Right now, I'm free, but it's not going to last. Soon I'll continue shaping this place, just as I always have. That's too bad. The school has already begun creating new a new Sachiko. Please, go! Get out of the building while you still can! A new Sachiko? Am I going to be on a time limit? Going where though? There's no real exit to this place. The covered walkway, maybe? What are you talking about? I don't know what you're talking about. Covered walkway? And there's no saving, so... Um... This way? Because that was a dead end, because that's where... What's her face? This way? place we couldn't go last time. What? I can't go there? Somewhere in the distant bell tolls, it sounds like the hour of tone of a grandfather clock. I am timed. Oh, man. I don't know where I'm supposed to be going. I'm hoping I'm going the right way. Let's, let's go check everything out. I'm probably gonna die. What's this? Where? Oh, bell tolls again. Shite. These are the bathrooms. I'm not gonna make it out. How many chimes do I have before it's death? Okay, so just go back the way I came. I assume. Oh, do I? Don't tell me I have to do this. I do. Oh, well, this should get me back towards the beginning. A third toll. Shit! Oh, what's this? Oh, okay. Mamoru Techno. Go up! Shite. Let's go, let's go, let's go. Okay. This way. Um, that's not the way I need to go, is it? Yes, it is. Yes, it is. Go down. Fourth toll. How many tolls do I have? Twelve? Ah, uh, that's not the way I need to go. I need to go up. I need to go this way. And down. Ah, oh, shite. I gotta... This way. I go like this. Go down. I'm trying to remember. <sighs> down, down, there. Ooh, trying to remember it and doing it reverse. Is this the way? Okay. Number six. Air is beginning to feel thicker. Fuck. Um. Where do I go? Please tell me I'm going the right way. Oh man. Oh shite. Okay, um. Well, does this. Yeah, does this count out as outside? School day is now over. 
I need students still in the building. Oh no, I ran out of time, didn't I? May never go home again. Shit, I only have seven? Everything's gone dark. Shit, we missed our chance, yeah. My friends. She's bad again. Welcome to Heavenly Host Elementary. Can I redo? That's a wrong end. Man. Okay. This is gonna be difficult. I'm assuming I just have to go out there because it says get outside. It didn't say go out the front door. It doesn't say go out the back door. It says get outside. That is outside. I just gotta make it. If I don't... Uh, if I don't mess it up again. So just go straight through. Continue. Alright, I'll get back to where I was. Back to the running out scene and we'll do it. We'll go from there. Five. I should still have one more and then a little bit. This should be outside. Here we go. We can continue from here. Yeah, this is outside. Okay, let's try and see if this works. Alright, there we go. Man. We made it! All we have to do now is climb over this fence and we're home free! Let's go, alright, okay. Please work, please work, please work! Hold tightly to your Sachiko scrap. Don't let it go. Are we going back? Did I beat it? Did I do a good? It's thundering, but... Uh, uh, knowing this is not good... Okay. Everybody's coming too. Okay. Oh, are we? Ah, We are. We're home. Big brother. You got. Good. We really made it. Yukiuki, thank you so much. Man, I got everybody back home. Well, almost everybody. So, the five of us who survived the ordeal were able to return to Kisaragi Academy, to the real world, in our own time. For a while, we were all just so happy to be home and to be alive, we were overjoyed. But it didn't take long before the grim reality of what happened wiped the smiles off our faces. Miss Yui, Shinohara, Morishige, and Suzumoto, they weren't with us anymore. Yeah, well, they died in there. Which really sucks. Well, be careful on your way home, okay? I will. Goodbye. Later. Wait, before you all go... Hmm? Don't stay home tomorrow. Come to school, please. Okay. She wants to make sure you guys are all okay. I didn't think I'd be able to sleep that night after all the things I'd seen. But I wound up sleeping like a rock. The next morning, it was with heavy hearts that we all trudged towards the school to avoid a Miss Yui and the others. Yet fate still had one more sick twist in store for us. What? Am I supposed to know who you're talking about? Oh, yeah, as if they don't exist. Our homeroom TA is Matsudo. You still ha have a sleep or something? A transfer? Are we getting someone new here? Uh, nobody remembers them. It was like... The four people who died in that school had never existed to begin with. Oh, this isn't right. How can no one else remember any of them? All those times we spent with Seiko and the others, am I just supposed to accept that none of that really happened? Miss Yui, Suzumoto, Morishige, and Shinohara. 
Are you telling me they only exist in our memories now? That's just beyond cruel. Yeah, it is. Still absorbing the innumerable souls and ingesting the thoughts of innocent... I didn't get that. Heavenly Host Elementary stands firm with a newly appointed Sachiko at its core. There are those precious few who survived, those who lost their lives, and those who were overcome by the dark curses remain. And among them all are the spirits of those who were wronged, bearing an unimaginable pain and endlessly searching for respite, respite from their sadness. For a place to call home. Chapter 5, end. Whew, man. <laughs> this game. What? Oh. Satoshi and Naomi. Sorry to call you in here like this, Satoshi. Oh, it's not a problem at all. What's up? There's something I want you to see. Here. Huh? Isn't that... It is. It's that unsent text message from Shinohara I showed you. Yeah. I need to tell you something. You gonna tell him that you love him? Oh, oh no, you're gonna tell it. Oh, you're gonna tell him what happened. Okay. So it was you. Seiko couldn't move, but instead of saving her, I put a noose around her neck. You don't remember any of it? When I saw that scene play out, my mind just shut down. I couldn't think at all, and a black mist began forming around me. I was slipping away. I didn't care either. Nothing mattered to me anymore. I would have welcomed death. Ah, so what happened to her? God. Yeah, that'd be hard. Seiko, I wish I could take it back. How'd you overcome it then? The darkness had begun seeping into every pore. My body was pitch black. I was right on the verge of losing consciousness, and then... Is Seiko gonna talk to you? Seiko, no hard feelings. This is that text message. Why am I receiving it now? Seiko's trying to encourage you to stay strong. It doesn't matter. I don't even want to live anymore. Living is too painful. I'm sure Seiko must have died hating me. There's just nothing left to live for. It's the same message. Seiko's saying she has no hard feelings. Are you trying to tell me something? Yeah. She must be spamming me. She's probably furious. No, she's telling you no hard feelings because Seiko is the real MVP of this story. No hard feelings. She's saying she forgives you because it wasn't really you. Man. No, there's no way she's not mad at me. We had such a huge fight. She was texting you to make up. Come on. She can't possibly forgive me. Especially not after what I did to her. Seiko, there's no excuse for my actions. You... He must hate me, right? You have to hold some kind of grudge, right? It's just going on its own now. She's just saying no hard feelings over and over again. I'm sorry. 
Seiko's sorry too. I'm sorry. I'm so sorry. I love you, Seiko. I love you. Oh no. <sighs> Seiko, she. No. No, no, no. She really existed, didn't she? She really did spend all that time with us, right? She did. She was real, Naomi. Miss Yui and the others, too. I can't stand the thought that I'd never see them again. This one last time. I just want to talk to Seiko one last time. I know you do. Man. <sighs> true end! I got the true end! <laughs> but at what cost? <laughs> oh my god. Okay, stop crying now. Oh, man. I'm gonna be quiet so we can go through this. Oh. Book of Shadows. I'm going to have to get that. <laughs> I got an achievement. No hard feelings. Oh, man. And I just stopped crying. You're an asshole, game. <laughs> but that was chapter five. That was the rest of it. And so next time, we're going to go on to the extras. Oh, man. There's a gentleman's errand, meeting of minds. She knows a key, and I'm missing one. So I'm going to have to I'm gonna have to figure out how I'm going to get that. But um, thank you so much for watching. Leave a comment or like down below. Let me know what you think, because I love this game. And hit the subscribe button, ring the bell, get all of my notifications. And let's play again next time. Bye! Hit the subscribe button, ring the notification.